Hi, I'm Pastor Jim Spawn, and this is an important announcement concerning our schedule for the winter months of 2020-2021 for the Point Church and Community Center. Just to start off things right away, we are not having service, in-person worship service, this coming Sunday, December 13th. Additionally, midweek Bible studies for next Wednesday will be canceled. Most of you have become aware of the color coding of counties across the U.S. to help these counties take localized action as COVID-19 numbers both rise and as they fall. As a church, we're adopting a plan to match the color code of Johnson County. If you're unfamiliar with that, I have attached a link to this video so that you might be able to see what those color code information is. Or you can Google search Indiana color code counties and you'll be able to find some information about that. The thought is that if our county's color code should change, we want you and guests to instantly know what to expect, how we are using our facility. And unless state guidelines change from now through the end of March 2021, this is how our facility and our gatherings will operate. If Johnson County is at an orange level, we will continue to offer our hybrid worship, which includes in-person worship and Sunday school, Facebook Live worship service streams, and also a weekly YouTube pre-recorded message that is offered to you. Outside groups will, will continue to meet as long as they follow current guidelines, precautions, cleaning, protocols that we have in place, and also group size restrictions that may be in place by state guidelines. If Johnson County moves to a red level, we will cancel all in-person gatherings held at the church. Bible studies, outside groups, and in-person worship will all be canceled. And we will continue, though, to offer online opportunities. And we'll do our best to enhance those so it moves into a more of a worshipful sense when it comes to our Sunday morning service. We'll encourage households to connect on their own in ways that they feel safe, including watching worship service together, maybe on a Sunday morning in one person's home, or by gathering together for prayer or for discipleship. But this is all local. This is all yours done. It's not formally organized by our church. If state guidelines have not changed and if our, out, if our um, color code between now and March is still at a place of being in a red zone, then we'll determine how we're going to update our worship services. We will probably go to a drive-in church model again so that by the end of March we'll be able to meet again for Palm Sunday and Resurrection Sunday together. Since the county color code updates each Wednesday, normally by Wednesday evening, you'll be able to know several days in advance if we will be having service on any given Sunday. And as we meet remotely, I encourage you to continue giving through tithes and offerings by mail or our online direct pay through your local bank or through our website, our secure link, or by dropping it off at the church. You can drop it in the mailbox, which is a more of a drop box style where you put it in, it slides down, and it goes into a secure locked box. Since our county color code this week went from orange to red, we are initiating this plan this Sunday. And it is a great disappointment because my hope and our board's hope, I believe, was all that this would not happen until after Christmas. Um, but it's not the case. And so we are moving to this this coming Sunday, and each week we will be notified, you'll be notified as to whether or not we are having service, either by you looking at that website or hearing notifications from the church itself. Uh, this was the plan, and unfortunately we're launching into it much earlier than anticipated. I so appreciate your understanding, uh, the grace being extended to our leadership and to me as your pastor, and to your continued dedication and support of this local congregation. May the Lord shelter you and keep you safe this season. God bless you.